Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a short uh, tutorial on a, actually Design Spark Mechanical, and then I just downloaded a program called Creality, Creality Slicer. Um, a uh, subscriber had was having an issue with this, so I downloaded it to try to uh, figure it out. So what we're going to do is um, going to go ahead and create two models in Design Spark Mechanical, and then we're going to open them in Corality, which is right up here. So the first, the first model we're going to create is going to be in inches. So I have a feeling um, the subscriber was saying that when he opens his STL files in Corality, that the files are much smaller than they are in the actual Design Spark program. So I have a, I have a feeling that. I had a similar issue when I used to do stuff in SolidWorks um, and then I would bring it into Object Studio. If I did it in inches, uh, the file would be really small because the program was reading it as millimeters. So I would have to go back, I would either have to scale the file up or there was an option in Object Studio to change from millimeters to inches and that would usually fix the problem. But um, so what we're going to do is we're going to determine if that's indeed the issue. So what I'm going to do, we'll go ahead and create a uh, um, a, a square. We're going to do from center, and we're going to create a specific square. Actually, this is in millimeters. So let's go ahead and um, let's do undo that. Let's go up here to File, come down to Design Spark Options, go to Units. We're going to change that to inches. So. Make, click OK. I think that's going to be all right. So we'll get our square. Go define from center. Make sure that's checked on. And then we're going to do three by three. Actually, something happened there. So three tab three. Okay, we're going to do this this specific size so we can see for sure how Creality is handling the STL file. So. This is a 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 inch cube. Uh, so we're going to save this out. Save as. We're going to go to desktop. We're going to call this 3 inch cube. Definitely in inches. Okay, so we're going to save that. Uh, now we're going to come up here, just do new again, new design. We'll switch to the plan view. Now we're going to go create a square in millimeters. Okay, we're in millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and create... Uh, let's undo that. Let's uh, define from center. We're going to create... Let's do a 100 millimeter. 100 millimeter. This is a pretty good size cube. And then we're going to spin this. We're going to pull pull this 100 millimeters so it's everything's even. Now we're going to save this, save as. We're going to call this 100 mm cube. And then we'll save it as a STL file. Desktop, save. And I think we'll go no on the changes. I think we need to open up the three inch cube and we need to save it as an STL. I don't think I, sa I saved it as a native Design Spark mechanical file and not as an STL file. So we'll go ahead and open that. And we'll come up here and we'll say open three inch, three inch cube. We'll go down to the three inch cube. Come up here to file. We're going to go save as and we'll change that for down to STL. Okay, let's go ahead and say okay. All right, now we'll go ahead and close that window. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up the Creality, th Creality Slicer. This is version 4.8.2. Okay, first of all, we're going to see if we have an issue with the one in millimeters. So we'll go to File. We're going to go Open File. 
scroll down here to the 100 millimeter cube. Well, it looks like it's okay. It says object 100 millimeter cube is 100 by 100 by 100. Okay, so we don't have an issue with with the millimeter with the millimeter 100 millimeter cube. Let's try the inch one. Go to open. Scroll down here to in three inch cube. Okay, we do have an issue. Now see over here, I can't really zoom in on this. I wish I could, but right here on the lower left corner, it's specking this, this cube out as uh, millimeters when it, it's not. It was, done in, uh, it was done in inches, so um, so what you would have to do is probably scale this up. Let's see. There's an option over here to scale right here, scale. And then this is millimeters. This is going to millimeters. So I'm, I don't know if this program has the ability to do stuff in inches. It may not. Um, it may just be a native millimeter program. Uh, if anybody out there knows, uh, you could please indicate in the uh, comments below. But um, I think what's going on is this program is meant to be used on files that are done in millimeters. So um, if you do do something in inches, it's going to see it, see it as millimeters. So a 3 inch by 3 inch by 3 inch cube is going to be 3 millimeters by 3 millimeters by 3 millimeters. So it's going to be very small. So. Um, you really would have to convert this out to uh, millimeters. So you'd have to figure out, you know, what um, what is three, three inches in millimeters. So let me do a Google search. What is three mm? What is three inches in mm? Okay. So three inches in mm is 76.2 millimeters. So what you would have to do is you'd have to change this over here to uh, 76.2. So you'd have to type in 76.2 tab, and now I, now this is uh, now this is three inch cube. So really, unless you can change it somewhere up here in the settings, I just downloaded this program, so I'm not very familiar with it yet, but I'm familiar enough to know to do a couple of tests. Uh, this sees things as millimeters. So this is millimeter over here. When the cube first got imported in, it saw it as three millimeters by three millimeters by three millimeters, even though it was created in Design Spark Mechanical as inches. So what you're going to have to do is go through the program and figure out uh, if there's a preference up here to change from millimeters to inches, if the program indeed only sees things in millimeters, then you're going to have to create your art in millimeters uh, from this point going forward. Um, okay, hopefully, I'm hoping that, that uh, this tutorial has been helpful um, and that uh, you got some uh, uh, information out of this. Um, I'm going to try to learn more about this program. I don't have a printer here at the house. I've never really printed my models because I literally have created hundreds of them uh, over the years. And um, I just don't have, I don't have a, a, a reason to print them. And so don't have a printer. Um, okay, so that's going to end today's tutorial on how to use, uh, or how to uh, import files into Corality Slicer. And uh, the problem that I see is that it seems to be a millimeter based program. So it's going to take whatever you have in inches, it's going to convert it. So uh, you do something uh, eight millimeter, if you do something eight inches by eight inches by eight inches extruded, it's going to see it as eight millimeters. So hopefully that helped and that answered some uh, questions. Okay, thanks for watching.